Blobs are a great way to give your design some visual interest by simply putting them in the background and maybe merging them with some kind of a gradient or some kind of a pattern. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate these blobs on a web and use them in Adobe XD with a plugin. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and before we get started with today's video make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for these YouTube videos and much more. So if you're interested in content like that make sure to check it out once again it's going to be down in the description below. Now let's get started with today's video and as I said blobs are a great way to generate some visual interest for your design and uh, this is blob maker website I already mentioned it in few of my previous tutorials and if i hide myself and show you this is where you can paste your hex code for your color this is how you can generate the shape of uh, your blob and finally this is how you give it some visual interest by giving it some more of these anchor points finally you can click right here to download it you can check some random size like here for example simply click on this button to get some random size and as I said you can simply click right here to generate how many sides uh, your blob might have and click right here to give it some more visual interest once you're ready you can click right here to access it and to download it to your desktop and here is one of the tutorials I did previously on the channel link is going to be down in the description below to check it out and to see how I created it but for now we are going to focus just on the blobs so as you can see if I click right here we have this blob at the top which is blob on the top and one more for the blob on the bottom and I created it using this exact website so if I go back right here I simply copy this color and then come right here simply pasted it right here as you can see now it's blue and of course you can generate uh, and do whatever you want with it I already show you that previously and if I hide myself you can simply click right here to download it as an SVG now moving back to Adobe XD what can you do with these blobs well because they are SVG you can scale them down endlessly you can rotate them you can do whatever you want with them and in this example I simply placed them behind this object gave it some blur and then achieved this frosted look effect if you want to and finally to generate these uh, in Adobe XD via plugins we have this Blobular plugin and if I jump to my plugins right here and thank you here you can click right here type in blob press enter or return and this is the plugin which you're going to get blob URL. simply click get and then how to use it if I click on it you can see that if I zoom in a little bit closer you can create this blob shape and you're going to see it right here at the bottom so you can change the complexity it's going to update in real time you have the uniqueness so how many sides you want to achieve something like that and then you can play around with hue saturation and brightness if you want to change different colors from here you can also include border if you want to and then change the color of the border as well but I'm not going to do any of that I'm just going to simply generate that blob let's click and just click right here to have the color visible simply click create blob it's going to paste it in right here but because we already have our own colors I'm just going to click right here to achieve the same result like I did because it's an SVG you can double click on it and you can play around and achieve different results you can play around with all of these anchor points you can place them wherever you want and then once you're happy you can simply move it wherever you want you can rotate it you can scale it up and down it's not going to lose quality and you can place it whatever you want on your design so basically that's one way to do things but the other way which I found uh, really cool for some examples it's not going to be great for all examples but for some it might work so I'm going to create one ellipse and then simply remove border because I don't need it and let me get rid of this one so you can see it more easily I'm going to duplicate this one and position it roughly around here and then just make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to select both of them and come to my plugins and I have a plugin called Metaball click right here and of course you can click right here and do the same thing and install this one as well so once again meta ball with two L's on the end simply click create meta ball what's that going to do is it's going to generate 2d shapes from the symbol object so if I click right here you can see that it's connecting these two circles with a shape in between so you can click right here and you can play around to achieve the different result that you want 
and let's say that I want to use this result for example I can click create and then when I go back to my layers panel you can create uh, you can see that it created this meta ball shape one so basically now we have three shapes we have this joining shape and we have our two circles so in order to select them all I'm going to use the shift key and click right here to add or you can use control or command alt and u and it's going to simply create one single shape now what can you do with that shape you can simply click right here you can add a color to it like we did with our blobs or you can click right here if you want to add a linear or radial gradient so you can play around with it like any other shape to achieve different results so that's basically it really you can play around with it you can position it whatever you want and let's say that i want to position it all the way to the back so send backward and you can see that now i have this nice looking blurred effect right here on my blob so as you can see you can achieve really all kinds of different results by simply using these blob shapes i really hope you liked this video and if you did make sure to press that like button because i upload new videos every single week right here on the channel about adobe xd different design tips passive income techniques and much more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe and i can't wait to see you in the next video take care